All right, welcome back to Mastering MMA. I'm Coach Lee here with you. Um, today we're going to be going over jabs for the um, beginner's curriculum. So we're going to talk about um, basic jab to start out with is stepping in. So my very basic jab, when I, it's going to be my left hand. My right hand is going to be stuck on my jaw here. My shoulder is going to turn so it's blocking my other jaw, and I'm going to step in. So I'm here, I'm going to step in and hit. All right, so we're here. Find your range. But I'm, I'm right here, I'm nice and solid, everything's blocked. Um, good crisp technique. All these jabs you can throw, so you get a little bit more reach, a little bit more power if I turn my hand over. You can also throw them vertical, right? So I throw this too, where I don't, I don't turn my hand over, I keep it here. Um, sometimes I can sneak that through a, a guard if it's just a little bit loose that, where my hand won't go through sideways. So keep that in mind, that plays in with all your jabs. Um, the next one we're gonna do, is if he's coming in, I'm gonna step back and I'm gonna jab just to keep this distance and then I'll reset. So he comes to me, right? I jab and I come back. So he comes in, I jab and I move back. Um, I use this as, when I'm fighting somebody with less reach to kind of keep them from crowding me. Um, this is just to make a little bit of space. Uh, the next one we're gonna do is a side step. I use this usually as he steps in too. Um, sometimes I use it as the aggressor. Um, if he come, come forward. Right, so if he's in here and come forth, if he's in here and he's in range, right, where I can hit him, sometimes I'll throw this and step off to the side, and then I'll, I'll follow with a, a cross. But uh, so we'll start out in range, right? So if he's in the pocket, I'm just here, I step off to the side, and then I can rotate into my cross or whatever I'm doing. So um, if he steps towards me, I jab and I step off to the side, and then usually I'm, I'm squaring back up to throw this cross once again. But there's other stuff you can do, kicks and everything out of it. But the footwork is I'm just stepping straight off the side. So he steps in, I step off to the side, I, I come back to a, a good uh, foot placement for our stance, and I rotate my hips, so I'm kind of 45 off. The next one we're doing is we're gonna um, step in, and then we're gonna 45 out. So he's here, I step in with my jab, and then I kind of hop off to the side here, so I can counter as he comes in. So once again, we're here, I'm here and off to the side. Um, depending on what he's doing changes the distance I hop out. So if he's not coming in hard at all, I'll jab and it's a little hop here so I can still reach him, right? If, if he's coming forward, right, I'll jab and I hop off here. So as he's come forward, I can catch him as he's moving in. Um, the next one, we're going to 45 off to this side. So I jab and I hop out here and I got to take one extra little step to square up here. Um, usually I'm going to send my right at that point. So let's get a little different angle here. So I'm here, I jab, and I hop off here, and this foot has to swing open to put me back square so I can start attacking. Um, I'll show you that one more time. Let's get this angle again. So I'm here, I jab, right? So there's an extra little step as this moves out, and usually I'm gonna send that right down the pipe. The last one I'm gonna show is a shift. So as I throw this, I'm throwing my jab, my right foot comes forward, so it ends up here. Actually, I'm gonna show you one more after this. So it ends up here, so I'm changing um, into southpaw for a split second. So I'm throwing this, and I step with my back leg, right? So first one I was stepping with my front, this one I'm stepping with my back. Then I can shift, and I can come back to, to my orthodox stance, but I've developed a great angle here. Um, let's do it the other way. So once again, I'm here, right? I jab and step. Now as this foot comes forward, I rotate in, and I can throw that cross or whatever I want to do. I might. I can also be here, right? So lots of options. I can come here, instead of throwing this, I can step and throw this kick. Lots of options happening there. Um, and the last one I'm gonna show is, um, I set this up a lot with switch kicks, but I'm gonna switch and then throw my jab. So I'm switching to southpaw. I'm not hitting a shift. A shift, I'm stepping forward. A switch, my feet are just switching, or, or just uh, switching my positions here, right? A shift, I'm moving forward. I'm shifting my weight forward and taking a step. A switch, I just hop. So I'm here, I hop. So a lot of times I'll set this up, I'll hit a switch kick. I'll come here and I'll kick, right? I'll come here and I'll kick. And they start getting used to me doing this. I'll come here and then I throw my jab when they're looking for the kick. Um, so that's our jabs for the uh, beginner's curriculum. Um, please hit like on this video. If you haven't yet subscribed, hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything. Please Google Mastering MMA. Leave me a five-star review. That'll help out a lot. Um, so you join the Facebook group. 
There's uh, all kinds of good information in there, techniques from my videos plus other people's videos, information on big events, information on local events, lots of memes, jokes, things of that nature. Um, everybody's welcome to chip in there, so check that out too. And that's all we have for you today on Mastering MMA. We'll catch you next time.